Alright, so let's talk about pyelonephritis. In my last video, I talked about urinary tract infections. As you can see here, urinary tract infections has to do with cystitis and urethritis, so from the bladder down. Pyelonephritis is where you start having the infection right here at the site of the uh, ureters and the kidney. Now, this is quite a bit more severe. Um, risk factors for pyelonephritis would be urinary tract infection because if you have infection in here and it moves its way up then that puts you at risk for having pyelonephritis. The rest of the risk factors are the same because if you're at risk for urinary tract infection you're at risk for pyelonephritis. So having sex um, and getting other people's bacteria on your urethral matus which can work its way up the system that can put you at risk for pyelonephritis as well as uh, having a urinary catheter uh, kidney stones. Kidney stones are very porous and they can hold on to bacteria. So if you have a kidney stone somewhere in the urethral system, um, and that's probably pretty big, if you have a urinary stone right here, or a catheter, your uh, renal calculi right here, well guess what, that urine isn't going to be moving down, it's going to be backing up and so that bacteria is going to just stay up in the kidney. Okay. Um, incontinence because you're getting stool on your urethral matus, which can, then the bacteria can work its way up. So. When you have pyelonephritis, a little bit of different symptoms. You still have burning uh, with urination frequency, and your urgency frequency refers to you're going more than normal. Urgency is when you gotta go, you gotta go. It's a sudden urge. Okay. Sign of symptoms of pyelonephritis. You're still gonna have some uh, some discomfort, uh, tenderness, but this can be more so flank pain or abdominal pain. And instead of just nausea for your urinary tract infection, you might have nausea, and now it's progressed to vomiting. Okay, you're still gonna have fevers because you have fever of any infection, but it's, it might be severe enough you have chills. And look how close here is to the kidneys. Now, what's in the kidneys? Lots of blood. So if you get infection in your blood, that's called sepsis. So you're at very high risk for sepsis, and that's why pyelonephritis is quite a bit more severe, as well as the infections in right there at the kidney, and it can damage the kidney itself, leading to acute kidney injury and potential complication later on chronic kidney disease which means it's progressed to a point where it's not 100% cured by the time you're done. Diagnosis. Well then what you're going to do is a urinalysis and urine culture of your urine to see if you have an infection in your urine. And so they may also do CT scans, ultrasounds, or x-rays uh, or an IVP, an intravenous pyelogram, around the kidney uh, to see if maybe there's a stone, Maybe there's some sort of a defect, maybe there's a fistula, something is going on that's causing that infection. Or it may very well may be you had a urinary tract infection, you didn't know, and it just moved its way up. And they might also do blood cultures because very often they're going to become septic. Also, you may have elevated BUN and creatinine. This is just a sign of acute kidney injury. At that point, you would know, okay, it's more than just a urinary tract infection. Something's affecting the kidneys as well. Treatment, just like uh, your tract infection, you want to make sure you push fluids so that you can push the infection out. Give them antibiotics to actually fight it and make sure you take the antibiotics to the full length of uh, prescribed course. Make sure you educate your patients on that. Make sure you, uh, other treatments would be peridium, urinary tract infection, decreased spasms, and as well as other uh, pain medicines. Because these patients are going to have flank and abdominal pain. They may be on Norco or um, IV Tylenol. Okay, uh, so these patients, if there is a defect or stone or a fistula, they may need surgery. So you want to watch out for uh, they may need they may need surgery. Um, preventative factors here I have: make sure you urinate after sex, get the bacteria out. Make sure you wipe from front to back. Have good hygiene. Change your underwear after you work out. And uh, so this would be pyelonephritis. So just real quick summary: urinary tract infection, pyelonephritis. Well, pyelonephritis, you want to be watch out for risks of sepsis. It's going to be a little more severe than nausea and vomiting, acute kidney injury, chills, and at risk for sepsis. So if you want to watch my urinary tract infection video, go ahead and watch it. It's my last video. And, uh, and so this is pyelonephritis.